The beauty of shaders. Look, it is amazing. And the waves and the sun and the shades. Ow. Oh. Ironically, the shades just disappeared, and I don't know. Okay. Let's try again. The beauty of Minecraft. The shaders. I'm so. Uh, yeah, 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 you get it. I, I don't care. Um, we're back with this bad boy. What we will do is. Same procedure as every year. We will do this. R just start with a simple roof, and there will be like a tower in the middle. Which is. It's kind of hard if you haven't done it before um, so what you do because these are like smaller and thinner than the parts down there we'll just make this corner with stairs in the bottom bottom then just leave that spot open I hope you guys enjoyed the shaders because I totally love them. Just crazy how much shaders adds to the game. It's I can't stop admiring it. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. So cool the shaders. I can't even talk. I'm still. I still got cold. Sorry for that. Uh, sorry that I have to annoy you guys a little bit more. Just do the same procedures as down there, just fill in upside down stairs and beneath the normal stairs so we have the you know the basic roof shape and don't forget this. Just need to keep track of time because in the previous episode I totally lost it but I think I can I think I got it okay. So yeah. I didn't tell you but I just did it um, place all the inner block like that so you have like this elevation going on place a steer not a steer but a stair there stair there um, just do it like that because we can we will do stairs right here and it looks kind of gothic at the moment uh, and that's it's like the purpose I will have uh, medieval and gothic mixed together because that's how I want my style to look so before I started building this tower I had like I was in my flat world and tried out lots of styles lots of stuff and I figured out what I like so this is my style just went away from all the other guys that's on YouTube before I have like a mix of all the great YouTubers like Jamsy Boy, Madman64 and all that stuff. So yeah, this is totally my own style. We'll try to keep it during the whole series uh, because I will do lots of stuff right around here. Here as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. We have to add some more details. For the details, I will on this one. Um, you know what? Trapdoors looks amazing if you put them on the right spots. That's a perfect spot. Just next to the window. It looks like a cover up for the windows. I think that's what they're called. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, you have yeah. Just put them there. We can put them up here as well. That looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Let's do this pretty cool. Pretty cool, and yeah. Take your 
wooden button just place on all sides and you will notice that the trapdoors will collapse um, you will just have to put them up again like that down here we also have some of these is it, yeah it's called chisel stone bricks perfect for medieval just adds in like randomization and stuff uh, up here we also have but we can't place them there therefore I think why it's because of the stair yeah oh crap then never mind I will find someone like you mm. just had to figure it out figure out some stuff Add some more details. Stair, no stairs with ladders, and signs also adds details. Not place them there. Place the sign there, and not there, but there. And you will place some ladders. On these blocks, so that I will try to have non blank spots on this building because I don't like blank spots. So, the rule I'm going for is crap, and this looks so disgusting. The rule I'm going for, uh, never two blocks, never more than two blocks next to each other, that's like looking the same the same type. Um, and if I have to, this is in special cases, that looks okay, so like this one, but you know, that's for pillars and stuff, and we also have the other part right here, you know, and just to mix it up, we could place this here, but I don't think we'll do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's do that. Place some buttons up here. I hope this is okay for you to watch, that you're not, you know, getting sick of it, because some of my friends are getting sick of playing Minecraft because they're moving too much. I don't even know what they're talking about. I like it never moving at all. I just had this idea but I forgot it. Yeah, I got it. I got it back. You have to do some randomization. Always, always, always do some randomization. So, all the blocks that you can randomization like the mossy and yeah, the mossy blocks and the cracked stone bricks, use them. Don't do like this. Totally looks awful. But what you can do, we can, you can totally like place a massive stone brick there, 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 there. Like here, so it looks like all the pressure from all the way down these pillars cracks this stone brick. Not that one because that would be too obvious. So put some massive cobblestone in there. Um, try to do. Random section as possible. These two blocks. Oh, they were supposed to be chiseled. Chisel my whistle stone. Yeah, they were supposed to. And also, add a cracked stone brick there. Some mossy down here. And we'll. Some massive cobblestone around because in the back of these because you can't really see them much but it adds details it adds it adds lots of feeling and personality into the build which is just perfect for Minecraft because mostly it's just blocks and squares and stuff so adding adding some random blocks just makes the whole build look perfect. Just to finish it up, 
I'm going over time already. What type of flag? Orange, white, and that looks like Netherlands or Holland. Uh, I don't care. Let's go for that one. Or orange and white. Mm -hmm. So Perfecto Mundo. Please like, comment and subscribe for this episode. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did building it. And I hope you enjoyed shaders. I hope it doesn't lag too much for you. Um so give me some feedback guys. I I love you. Don't forget about the 500 subscribers special 